Before we start, I just want to give this disclaimer that any story-like elements you see in this video shouldn't be confused with the actual Destiny canon and story. This is all purely a fan creation. But with that, this is all four parts of my Witch Queen Nuzlocke series stitched together. So if you've never heard of it before, if you've only seen parts of it, or if you just want to watch it again, well, you're in the right place. Of course, this video will have timestamps, so if you want to skip past some of the stuff you've already seen, feel free. But anyway, I'm really proud of how this project came out, and whether you've seen it all before or whether you've seen none of it, I really hope you like it. In today's video, I started a brand new Destiny account and we have six hours to prepare for a solo legendary Witch Queen Nuzlocke. Now, you're probably wondering, what the hell is a Nuzlocke? Well, a Nuzlocke is actually a fan-made difficulty in Pokemon, where when one of the player's Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and can never be used again. Now, for us in Destiny, this means that whenever I die, in the Nuzlocke of course, the weapons I had equipped at the time of death must be dismantled. If we run out of weapons, well, we lose. So our goal today is to gather as many weapons as possible in the six hour time period starting from nothing. Oh, and this will all be purely free to play. If you watched this video I did a while back, it'll be similar to that. I had a lot of fun doing this and I really hope you enjoy. I lost. <laughs> All right, now the moment of truth. We gotta pick our class. I'm not gonna use Titan. I wanna do something different, but I've kind of already decided that we're gonna go Hunter for this one. To start off, of course, we gotta customize our character. The live chat voted Exo, so that's what we went with. I kinda like this though. I know, I'm liking the, I kinda like the gray. We'll do this. I'm liking this. You know, we'll go with that. It's subtle. It's really subtle. Maybe we'll go with the dark, we'll go with the darker one. Hour one, of course, started with our ghost raising us from the dead and some minor tweaks to our settings. We got our first weapon. Kvasta, baby, let's go! Cut through some fallen and got our first energy weapon. Some not- oh, Jesus. Pretty good. I missed my knives, popped my first super, missed my knives again, and met our new best friend for the next 40 minutes. Thank the light. We have access to Vault of Glass and King's Fall. Upon reaching the surface and missing my knives multiple times, we walked for kind of a while. When you don't have a sparrow, this is what a lot of the game looks like. So not having a sparrow is uh, mm. not fun. Will I ever hit one of these fucking- You don't start with your Ark and Void subclasses, so we'll get those later. While being introduced to the hive, I actually managed to land my knives. Do it! Let's go! Shahan didn't seem to appreciate me skipping his dialogue. Okay, we're just gonna skip this. Uh, no. A lot of time in the Cosmodrome. Okay. <laughs> but he gave me a blue sniper anyway. Damita LR2. I grabbed some bounties, did a public event, <laughs> and began learning the light through meditation. Does the arc chest and the helm count? Oh, does it? Oh, I forgot about this mission. Some meditation, some more meditation. We do a little meditating. I traded with an acolyte. Travel it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> then got into a pretty heated underground fight. Oh god. All right, all right. They are just But things were okay because we meditated. Hey. This also gave us our very first aspect and fragment. That is uh, is not free to play. Do okay. It. Yeah, we'll Let's go do it. that. Oh, hi. During a lost sector, I discovered two things. The first was that exploder shanks are kind of scary. Oh no. And the second was that Gunpowder Gamble is fucking awesome. Ooh, that's so cool. I was then asked to speak with Shah Han again, but it was worth it because we got our first legendary. Careless. Ooh, Nightwatch. After walking for a while, I might just have woken the hives. Like this, but Gambit is one of the- Oh, good god, what the shit? <laughs> Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I was a little too speedy and glitched the quest, so I had to restart the mission. I successfully defended the array and was once again asked to speak with our best friend. Upon returning, he had unfortunately been removed from the game. I'm of course kidding, but he did give us a sparrow in his departure. I took my sparrow and we set out on a rescue mission. Why do I have to take the superconductor? Why don't you take the superconductor? Hey. You Shahan? Oh, what? Why? Do I have to talk to you again? Hey. hey. <laughs> Shaw gave us our first ship, which of course meant that we finally had access to the tower. Oh my gosh, Shaw is a walking L. Tower time. I was once again too speedy for the game to handle and restarted the mission. This is also when we meet Black Adam. What's the sidearm called? No, I know it. I know it. What's it called? Shit. Oh, I love this sidearm. I, I should know the name. Oh, I'm going to kick myself. What's it called? Lonesome. Then Shaw must have talked you up quite a bit. Shaw stay talking me up. We also met Ikora Ray and immediately bought Blade Barrage, the Acrobat's Dodge, Weighted Knife, and Healing Nades. You too, Ikora. Finally, we went into our first strike to kill Navoda. <laughs> oh, look at those Arcadia jump ships. Come on, Bippo. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I really appreciate it, brother. 
Spark of hope, let's go, I forgot about that. Hour two began with us grabbing some quests and an umbral engram. To be a future armor. It was a bow. We also now have the quest to unlock our other subclasses. We have exactly 25 legendary shards. Oh, we gotta visit Zur too. Let, let me not buy anything yet. I unlocked the EDZ, so we went there to continue our Risk Runner quest. Is that a high value? Yes, it is. Come on. Give me that. Ooh, we got a Taipan. Let's go. Yeah, you're, you're right. Let's go. I grabbed some bounties and headed down into a lost sector. Oh, shit. Um, risk reward. Oh, we like about to get risk runner? This quest was a lot shorter than I thought, which was a pleasant surprise. Oh my god, holy shit. Okay, these guys are high level. I see it now. All right, let's get that risk runner. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go. First exotic, boys. That is such a cool animation, dude. Add clear and DPS. All right, sweet. To round off hour two, I grabbed some crucible bounties in preparation for hour three, which I will pretty much spend entirely in crucible. But not before finally visiting the helm and claiming our gift of the thunder gods, which is free, so it counts. Oh, this is so nice. Boys, this is a gold mine. I forgot this had this many weapons in it. Kind of huge. I actually hate this cloak. Time to drop into Crucible. This first match was slow to start, but had its moments. Look at us, boys. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Ooh, let's go. First kill. Oh, let's go. We got Thunderlord. No. There is loot waiting for us here. That was a huge grenade. Got these things for days. Oh, let's go. Holy shit. Oh shit! Oh, oh boy. Back up, I'll use it! I know how to use it! Let's go! Oh, come on, I wanna kill something. We'll switch to a shotgun. A nice little warm up, but my second game actually went really well. Alright, let's get in there. The goal is to get as many kills with Thunderlord as possible. Nope, fuck that, fuck that. Oh, we got another Thunderlord kill! I dare you. That's planning, boys. One day, I forgot how to spell onion, and I kept spelling it union, and I was like, I know that's wrong, but, like, how the fuck do you spell onion? <laughs> we're gonna do it. Oh, we're doing it. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! Let's go! <laughs> oh, nope, never mind. Thunderlord! <laughs> Fight me, bitch! Yeah, I'm unstoppable. This shotgun ain't bad. Oh, I'll fight you. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. Don't think I won't, boy. Oh, boys. I had a lot of fun that game, but our rumble matches were much less enjoyable, so we can just kind of skip those. Oh, it's rumble. Oh, shit. <laughs> All three of us. Second place. Second place. All right, the enemy do be all around me, so let's uh, let's focus up. Keep moving. Oh, that was a huge explosive knife. With my rumble matches complete, we were on to elimination, which wasn't too eventful. Oh, we've unlocked the moon. Huge. After this, we ran into a slight issue. Shax wanted me to play some competitive, which I would have done, but Bungie has SMS protection in place to prevent cheaters, which gave me a bit of trouble behind the scenes. I'm just gonna close my eyes and randomly kick people. Okay, whoever this is. <laughs> By the time we got it all troubleshooted, it was hour four, and this is what our hunter was looking like so far. A few people from chat hopped in to help me take on the Vault of Glass. Telesto? Huge utility. There we go. The opening gave me nothing, which was to be expected. I, st I still don't have my other subclasses. I should probably... I still didn't have my other two subclasses, so I'll be working on that throughout the raid. Confluxes rewarded me with the Shattered Vault Cloak. I'd be disappointed if it didn't look so cool. Oracles dropped me a found verdict, which is, well, a weapon. However, both Templar and the Secret Chest dropped me some gloves that I probably won't end up using. <laughs> Oh, I have unlocked the Dreaming City. Let's go. Vex class doesn't exist. It really doesn't. Gatekeepers gave me the helmet, and by the time I'm through, we may just have the whole damn set. Hour 5 started with us at Atheon. After a bit of time, we smashed him, and I was awarded with another helmet. I returned to the tower to decrypt some engrams, which had a 50-50 yield. And Tata, another Taipan. Dead end. Also, here's a status update on the Hunter. I had a lot of engrams from Shax, which granted a nice stack of legendary weapons. And we got the shader too. Oh, this is great. 
I put some things in the vault and still hadn't unlocked Nessus, which is where Xur was. Luckily, we still had our fire team, so apples took us instead. You should have bought? Okay. We could buy hard light, and I'm told that this Ikelos SMG is very good. Uh, that's a good use of our legendary shards. I did some character customization, and we more or less spent the rest of the hour in Dares of Eternity, which is honestly probably the best bang for your buck when it comes to loot drops. Land Oh, I got an exotic! Let's- oh, hey! Celestial Nighthawk. That's good! That's, that's pretty good. good. That is really good. That's pretty good. You know. In a stroke of luck, we managed to get the Celestial Nighthawk to drop, which will no doubt prove useful during some of the Witch Queen boss fights. No, honestly, Celestial, that's that's a lot bigger than Liar's Handshake. I live right now, or well, tomorrow morning Ooh. it's gonna be like- Lord, <laughs> DPS is real, oh. holy shit. Do you want to hear the funny story of my first ever Reese's that I've ever had as a kid? I was I was trick-or-treating, right? I get back home. I'm like, I can't wait to stuff this candy in my mouth. And then my brother, I was like, hey, Randall, let's see what candy I got. And my brother, he just stuck his hand in the bottom of my bag. And somehow, he knew I had a Reese's in the bottom of my bag. So he just <laughs> reached down there, grabbed the only Reese's there, pulled it out, and ate it right in front of me. If you get a lightning round, I'll um, I'll go buy Fortnite V-Bucks. You're gonna buy Fortnite okay. V-Bucks anyway. How is this? We finished up our dares round, returned to Xur, then went to Ikora to finally unlock Arc Strider and Night Stalker. I also took the liberty of buying both Gathering Storm and Spectral Blades before turning around and heading straight back to Dares of Eternity. If someone has an Oryx yeah, checkpoint, I would love to do it. If you want me to, I can go try and steal one from LFG. <laughs> I set up a post. I set up a post on LFG and I said, Need Oryx CP, please. I'm a gamer girl. <laughs> all right, all right, wait, wait. clear comms. Macy, do your best girl voice. Hi, Thank my you. name is Macy. It's okay. It's okay. I need, I need to keep him. Oh, I did get a BXR with incandescent though. Do we get a paraversal haul and a shot at an exotic? Yeah, always get the haul. Oh, I got the checkpoint. Can we get an exotic? No. no. Unmute your mic. Oh, we got Arbalest. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That's awesome. <laughs> In a really nice turn of events, we actually managed to get Arbalest from our Paraversal Hall. Not sure how common or uncommon that is, but this will no doubt prove to be very helpful in not just the Nuzlocke, but also Oryx. It is time for King's Fall. Or oh, shit. It's the Taken King. It's the Taken. Oryx may slam soon. Oh, he's slamming. Oh, no, that's not good. Celestial Nighthawk. Buff going in. No, every, everyone just call out literally everything you do. Oh, jumping, jumping, jumping. jumping. Getting, 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 grabbing heavy ammo. Healing, grabbing heavy ammo. Dodging, grabbing heavy ammo. Dodging, orcs, Thrall is spawning. Shooting, shooting, shooting. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Orcs is dying. I'm grabbing orcs is dying. Another I'm grabbing another orc. I'm getting attacked by a thrall. Getting attacked by a thrall. I'm grabbing a Brayden. Literally staring at Brayden. 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 Super. Radiant. Radiant. Brandon. I'm being hit by thrall. Okay, don't wait, wait, don't push him final sand because I have no ammo. <laughs> nice. One shot, he's, one shot, he's one shot, he's one shot, he's one shot. We could do it, boys. We could do it. He's one shot, he's one shot. He's one shot, 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 he's one shot. Hey, let's go. We slayed the Taken King and your boy got some more gloves, but I'll probably wear these. The following day, we still had about 50 minutes left, I think. So we did a couple things last minute. Festival of the Lost was live, so I decided to take advantage of it a bit and of course, get the blueberry mask. I then jumped into a nightfall, which unfortunately yielded no weapons. I returned to Ikora again to buy the storm grenade, flashbang, and a couple aspects. Bungie really wanted me to play some Gambit, so I went ahead and played a game for shits and giggles. I also realized we had a grenade launcher with blinding nades. Oh, shit, this has blinding nades. Oh, shit. Our gambit victory was swift, and in our remaining time, we jumped right back into Dares of Eternity as our timer finally hit zero. But now we may go and spend our riches. To finish things off, I went around and spent, well, pretty much everything I had. I mean, suppression grenades, they do, do they knock Hive Guardians out of their supers? I bought the knock them down aspect as well as suppression grenades. We focused two engrams that both turned into crate and bought a mystery bag from Ava. Legendary weapon. Hey, a Taipan, let's go. Zur and the horse had a few things for me and just when I thought I was done, I remembered that Bungie rewards existed. This bagged me another engram, some enhanced shards, cold heart, and some other cosmetics. Why not? Oh, that's a nice ornament. What the hell? It also gave us the glimmer we needed to buy our first and only legendary rocket launcher. With the last of our glimmer, I bought the melee kickstarter mod as well as the trace rifle scavenger mod. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. We had enough bright dust to buy this shader from the store, and there you go. Here's our final hunter going into the Nuzlocke. I think we did pretty good. I recently made a new Destiny account and gave myself six hours to make as much progress as I could in preparation for today's challenge, that being a solo legendary Witch Queen Nuzlocke. Now, you may be wondering, what the hell is a Nuzlocke? This basically means that every time I die, I have to dismantle the weapons I had equipped at the point of death. If I run out of weapons, well, I lose. I will also be allowed to use the first legendary weapon dropped in each mission, but nothing else. What we got in those six hours is more or less what we have for the entire campaign. This ended up being way harder than I thought it'd be and quite the experience, so let's get started. Please, please let go. Now, if you haven't seen this video, I recommend you watch it for the full experience and context. But if you just want to watch this video, got you, fam. Here's a soft recap. I got all my subclasses, a couple aspects and fragments for each one, and six exotics: Risk Runner, Thunderlord, Liar's Handshake, Celestial Nighthawk, Arbalest, and Coldheart. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm a Titan main, and this really comes through in some of my decision making. I mean, we're pretty stacked. I am not gonna lead with Arbalest. I started out with a Scout Rifle, Trace Rifle, and Machine Gun. I didn't know how hard this would be and figured this was a safe bet. I also have three Taipans, which should be very useful against bosses and Hive Guardians. Oh boy, uh, this is gonna be way harder than I think it is. I'm not even gonna look at the modifiers. Mission number one, we touched down on Mars and encountered our first group of enemies. One of them had a Void Shield, so I switched over to a Void Pulse Rifle and Blinding Grenade Launcher. All right, so far this ain't super bad. This room worried me a bit and I had a few close calls, but Arc Staff made quick work of the Colossus. Outside would be a different story. I started taking advantage of my machine gun, but then immediately made a really dumb mistake. There's a drop. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Fuck! God damn it. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, this hurts. I need to shut up. That was our only blinding nade launcher, by the way. Oh, Jesus, where the fuck did you come from? Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Oh, does this have incandescent? Oh, that's huge. You're fucking long, man. <gasps> the next section was pretty straightforward, something the elevator was keen to change. Oh, us, but... I gotta watch those moths. We will die at least once to a moth. Here we got our first legendary of the run, the Boudicca C. He may not look like much, but he's gonna do some great things. They hurt so <laughs> bad. They. Oh my god, what are you doing there? No! Yo, this ain't good. This one hurt. I really liked Retraced Path. God damn it, whatever. Bodica is godly? Is it actually? Or... Okay, I... <sighs> oh dear god, that Nearing the end of the first mission, we encounter our first Hive Guardian. Hive fu Oh, fuck, he- Nope, fuck that. Ooh. I killed him, turned back time, and killed him again. I can't believe this. Me either, honestly, that took a while to say that. That's what the found for- <gasps> Yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah, save Taipan for Sabatoon. On. We're gonna bust out a Taipan. Yep. Yoink. Oh, that was dumb. We are nothing compared to... Oh, yeah, I didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Oh, boy. Foreshadowing. I have that. <laughs> so if things get desperate, we're busting out the hummus. First mission complete with only two deaths. Not bad, all things considered. After this, we forge the Enigma, a one-of-a-kind blade gifted to us by the darkness itself, and immediately dismantled it. Mission number two began with some found verdict action and a Hive Guardian. This jumping section, however, gave me a lot of trouble the first time I played Witch Queen. Okay, I am really worried about this, man. Aw, oh, man. We're gonna die. This is the end of the run. I think we can land there. Oh, man, let me take this Taipan off. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, before I made an absolute fool of myself, chat told me how to actually do this part. Oh, I... Bro, how the fuck did I not know about that? Whoever just told me to go get Deep Sight, thank you, because I genuinely did not know that that existed. <laughs> After this, I made the colossal mistake of challenging Hive to a 3v1. Shotgun him. <laughs> No, bro, no. <laughs> oh, man, not our grenade launcher. Ben's fat. Oh, this is so... Dude, we... We're gonna lose. We're gonna be a lot more careful going forward. What the fuck? With one of my macabre snipers, I chiseled away at these knights from afar. For the capture section, I basically just stayed invisible for as long as I possibly could, because contact equals death. Oh, no, 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 we don't need that, we don't need that. I knew this next section would be a bit rough, so after a bit, we switched on to Taipan for the edge and DPS. Okay, you use your super... 
What the fuck? My drop for this mission was a syncopation. Not huge, but it's whatever. I think we handled that pretty well. All in all, that's one death on mission two and on to mission number three. And we're doing pretty good so far. Oh man. Oh. Okay, there we go. If Shriekers had stasis, don't even speak that into existence. I had a really rough time with this room in my original playthrough, so I was sure to take this one extra slow. You caused me so much. Oh man. Was that a scatter grenade? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit, he has blade barrage. Yeah, I gotta. Nope. Eventually, we killed the guardians, crushed their ghosts, and all was good. Except it wasn't. Gunpowder Gamble is a wipe with. Oh! Potions! <gasps> no! Damn it! No, I liked that scout rifle. I am such an idiot. Anyway, we moved on and switched to Solar for the healing nade. I then fought the Scorn Walker, which went down pretty easy. Oh, good god. Oh. However, this next part wouldn't be so kind. Oh my god. Oh, can I just get a minute? No! Boys, we lost our first Taipan. We lost our first Taipan. The Thunderlord's coming out. Oh, that's pain. The loss of our first Taipan brought out two legends, Thunderlord and the Boudicca. After clearing the room, I jumped down to the Abyss section of this mission. Aside from Savathun, this to me is the scariest part of the campaign. Oh yeah, I do not like this part. Boudicca in hand, I got to work one room at a time. Nope, nope, we already died to one of these guys. We're... That's Gunpowder Gamble, that's not a healing nade. <laughs> I'm out of ammo, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is, okay, we got a shotgun. This first section was scary, but I managed to get through it with no deaths. I'm liking this Boudicca or whatever this thing is called. I had such a hard time in this part by myself. I dropped a banner, took one last good look at my weapons, and started the fight. Oh, you guys are like in here, in here. Yo, can, you, can I get a... Oh. Oh, I needed to hit that. Okay. totally called nah bro no this is so thank god we didn't lose the boudicca i'm so sorry thunderlord i'm so sorry you'll live on in our hearts i don't even want to look at it the death of thunderlord was a blow i did not expect to take this early in the campaign <laughs> Regardless, I grabbed some stuff from my vault. Those are all of our remaining legendary heavy weapons, by the way. We and switched over to Void. We're about to be left with just hummus. It's about to be the solo legendary Witch Queen hummus. And thank God the Boudicca is safe. Okay, wait, is this our incandescent one? Fuck, we need to be careful. This is rough. Let's let's start pulling in reinforcements. We still have a macabre. Well, this is our last Taipan, by the way. Dude, I need to be so careful. Oh, I don't want to think about losing our blessed right now, dude. I can't handle that. Hello. Oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh, this one. Bro, I don't care about weapon patterns right now. Hi. What are you doing in here, Crota? <laughs> <gasps> Jesus Christ, what the fuck? You can't be doing that to me. Okay, we're trying it. One more, one more rotation. Alright, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh my god, yo. Oh my god. God. Oh, dude, they're coming to support the Thunderlord. Dude, I thought it was over. I'm not gonna lie to you. This one was really stressful, but luckily we were able to kill the giant Scorn and lock in mission three with only three deaths. So, wow, you're still alive. <laughs> Shut up, Finch. Mission number four brings us to Europa. The opening was fairly straightforward. The tanks took a while, but nothing too crazy here. No special. <gasps> I don't think this mission's gonna be that hard. Filler, even though, oh, fuck, okay. Oh, this room's a little rough. Come on. Okay, that, that. Oh, that's Gunpowder Campbell. 
no, we're gonna die. Unfortunately, we just lost our only legendary rocket launcher. On the bright side though, somewhere in the mission, we got a funnel web that I didn't notice. That's right, I should be using this up. Boss section is gonna be interesting. Fuck, I didn't think we were already there. This is one of my rare rocket launchers from the vault. We're gonna put on the syncopation. Now, this boss could really go either way for me, so I decided to test the waters a bit with a low risk loadout. Oh, that's a dumb rocket, I forgot. Oh, look at that, look at that. Fuck, no! Of course, it wouldn't be a Cabal mission if we didn't die to those stupid backpacks at least once. Sorry, Funnel Web. We're gonna risk it. We're gonna put on the Taipan, we're gonna put on Cold Heart, and we're gonna put on Crate. This thing has a fat mag, 62. This is about when I realized that Cold Heart is an absolute monster against orange and yellow health bars. Dude, this thing fucking shreds. Really hope it works, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna feel really stupid. I should be dead, but I'm not. That did not go to plan, by the way. Uh, let's, let's just hit him, let's just hit him. Come, bro! Let's go. I had remembered that guy being the worst part of the mission, so I wasn't too worried about this next part. And holy shit, I was wrong. Staying back and hiding behind the statue was really my only plan of attack here. This place fills with ads, and the range on the Colossus doesn't make this any more merciful. Give me immune, give me immune. Oh, I'm not gonna get it, I'm not gonna get it. No! Cold heart! Damn it. Actually, we're gonna pull out the Taipan again. Actually, no we're not. I don't want to risk Taipan right now. Oh, this has tracking. Oh, there we go. No, what? What? Glad we didn't put Taipan on. My inventory was starting to look scarce as hell, so I grabbed some reinforcements from the vault. Yep, every legendary I own, by the way, is in my inventory right now. I grabbed a sniper and sat my ass behind the statue. This worked out okay until my distance was challenged by this legionary's confidence. Fucking no! Dude, not the night watch. Do I need to use Taipan? If, if we die here again, I'll use Boudica. That's it. Um, I'm gonna try it. Not the stomp. Fuck me. That's not good. And the Amit. Fuck. It's Boudica time. No, 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 no. Do we actually use the Boudica? Are we seriously doing that? <laughs> Boudica time? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We're not gonna win with this. <laughs> we need to just stop them from coming in on both sides. But when they come in close, we drop the Boudica on them. If we do this with Boudica, I will be fucking amazed. Blinding gun at the start be help oh fuck <gasps> boys we almost lost the boudica gotta unfuck these generators and then we clap them the heart is going Ooh, come on boudica it's like it's like taming an animal you have to feed it you have to nourish it i'm tired of these guys just materializing bro like exist or don't but don't make it my problem boys we have to Let's go! <laughs> Against all odds, we took the Valis down with Boudica and come to pass. I ascended and completed mission 4. So far, this has been the deadliest mission with 6 deaths. After doing some research, I found a lot of great builds with Liar's Handshake. I figured I'd give it a try, so I switched on over to Ark. Now, it's important to remember two things. One, I basically have no fragments, and two, I'm just not very familiar with Hunter. Something that'll come up real soon. The Bright Dust. Ooh! <laughs> to start mission number five, I cut through some scorn and made it all the way to the puzzle section with our trusty Boudica. Unfortunately, my Titan brain got the best of me, and this happened. Oh, no. No! Fuck! The Boudica! Tragedy. What else can I call it? What more need be said? Oh, <laughs> y'all are gonna hate me. We can't do this anymore. It's okay, we have a lonesome. Damn it, the come to- Oh, I should have infused that. Come to pass, too. This hurts, boys. Boudica, we loved you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that hurt. That hurt. We still, we still get a legendary. It can come back. No. It might come back. Because we have half troops. What the fuck? I decided after this that I just wasn't ready to wield the Ark Staff, so I abandoned it and went back to Night Stalker. Not even three minutes later, I had what is probably the dumbest death yet. To the YouTube chat. What? 
Does that count? That was our last heavy, by the way. This means that unless we get a lucky first drop, I can't use my heavy slot for the rest of the run. I grabbed what was left of my vault and realized that I actually had a second grenade launcher with blinding nades. Grenade launch? Cause that Ooh, blinding nades. Wait, this is huge. With any luck, this part really shouldn't take me too long. There we go, there we go. So for some reason, I just forgot to stand in this granted light, which would have made this way easier. Fuck! What the fuck, man? Eventually though, I figured it out and he bent the knee. There we go. I finished mission five with four deaths, making it the second most lethal mission so far. The light blade was very straightforward, so this brings us to mission number six and another really scary one at that. Oh fuck, it's the Ahamkara mission, boys. And they just come out of no, ooh, legendary. We got a Snorri, okay. That's pretty big. My legendary for this mission was a Snorri, which given my lack of special weapons is pretty huge. I reached the temple with zero deaths, though this of course wouldn't last long. Oh fuck. No Shiras malignants. At this point, my inventory was looking not great. I have two and a half missions left and only eight weapons remaining. Man, bad juju is another weapon I really wanna. Fusion fighter for nothing. Damn. How many deaths are we gonna have here, boys? This boss fight has a lot of void shields in it, which I was very unprepared for. <gasps> oh, fuck. We're actually gonna use Snorri here. Builds, I think. What? Oh no. Oh, this is not good. It's Kvostov time, boys. Let's keep our head in the game. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, let's go, dude. Snorri was huge for that. Honestly, if we didn't get that Snorri, this might have been the end of the run. Uh, oh, it's me. Oh, boys, it's another Boudica. <laughs> we just can't use it. We'll just hold on to it. Oh, man, I'm scared of this. Tattered and worn, my hunter went to steal the calcified worm, only to be greeted by a shell of what was. Man. That's so cool. We're sitting back here, boys. This is how we're doing this fight. This is fine. This is plenty. I guess we're just gonna be doing this for a while. There we go. Deal with these screams. We're. Oh! No! Dude, we lost Kabastov. Shit. Nori's gone too. Not good. The real talk, real talk. Do we Arbalest? So at this point, the only logical play is Arbalest. I just need to be very careful. Oh, that's huge damage, man. That's fucking good. Well, there we go. All right. All right, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, bring the Ahamkara back. Oh, we got a wiper. We got a wiper. There goes Petra's run. All right, let's go. Go with you. What, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do, you know what we're gonna do. <laughs> just... All right, let's go. Let's just, let's just, we got time, we got time. Oh shit, boys, let's go. All right, it's over. <laughs> Oh man, that was stressful. I ended mission six with four deaths. Unfortunately, we still have two missions left and both of those missions are quite hard. After watching a heated debate, I began mission number seven. I moved through as carefully as I could and decided to swap over to Risk Runner finally to deal with the wizards. No! Risk Runner! This isn't good. This isn't good. Just fucking take it. Damn it, man. Dude, we're down to the stubborn oak. Are you kidding? <laughs> All right, boys, we pretty much can't die anymore. Down to the wire, I quickly realized that once again, RB was really the only play I had. I got these guys, of course. <laughs> Fuck that. But I'm just kidding. So we still, we can still get a legendary weapon from this mission. The weapons. Oh, we got a heavy, boys. Let's go. Ever since I started this challenge, I really was not looking forward to this part. I placed a banner, made a prayer to the Boudicca, and took a stab at it. That's not good, then. Good. 
Are you fucking- We lose, because, like, yeah, you guys are definitely right, Lonesome's gone, and Boudica's dead. We would have to double shotgun our way through the rest of this. I threw on double shotties and gave it a good faith attempt, but let's be real, that's just not gonna cut it here. Trail like the other one? This would have been game over, and well, it kind of is. But chat voted to sacrifice the Boudicca ghost as a sort of one-up. Sacrifice the Boudicca? This is our last, last chance. With one more chance granted, I picked up my Arbalest and gave it everything. Drop this guy. Okay. Okay. Got an ogre too. Boys. Get back here. <laughs> Not standing the fire. This boss room is going to be interesting for sure. Let's do it. What the hell? Ugh. Okay, uh, ghost. What? One mission away. That was brutal. What is this? Are you a ghost? What's going on? Well, actually, you're the ghost. You're dead. I'm dead? Like, yeah. for real dead? Yeah, sorry about that, man. Sabathun is still alive. I have to go back. Yeah, that's not really how this works. Wait, if I'm dead, then why are we here? Well, you're kind of in a purgatory state right now. I've just made it into something a little more familiar. Seems a bit on the nose. Yeah, I tried my best. Look, is there any way I could get another chance? Dude, you already had another chance. Man, I just, we were so close. Yeah, man. It's rough. So there's really no chance? <sighs> okay. You really want another second chance? You're gonna have to earn it. Hey, listen, man. I'm straight. No, that's not what I meant. <sighs> have you heard of the Dreaming City? Yeah, why? Oh. If you spend 12 hours straight in the Dreaming City, I'll give you another chance. What, 12 hours? Why? Hey man, I don't make the rules. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. 12 hours, huh? When can I start? In today's video, I'll be spending 12 hours straight in the Dreaming City. Now, you may be thinking, Toad, what the hell are you gonna do in the Dreaming City for 12 hours? Time to find out. This is actually the third part in my Witch Queen Nuzlocke series, so if you want the full context as to why I'm doing this, you'll want to watch those videos first. But if you're just here to see me suffer, that's cool too. What the fuck, they're still doing this? At 5.45am, I spawned into the Dreaming City, officially starting the 12 hour timer. My first order of business was to reacquire Kvostov and Stubborn Oak. The reason being, we lost, and we're basically starting from scratch at this point. F in the chat for Arbalest, man. It was fun while it lasts. Oh man. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> the only rules are that I can't leave patrol and I can't invite anyone to my fire team, because that would just make this way too enjoyable. The goal for the next 11 hours and 57 minutes will be to simply get as much weaponry as I can to strike back at Sabathun. Nuzlocke rules don't apply here, but they will as soon as we get back. I grabbed a quest from Petra and was met by another wandering soul that wished to throw it back. Now, since we lost all our weapons, I will be using only my melee and abilities until we get one to drop. <laughs> Oh, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this view. <laughs> Still without firearms, I got a Corsair down bounty that I'll do later. For now, I went into Blind Well for a while. Uh, what? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> After running through my menagerie of knives, I was gifted a slightly bigger knife. I reached Season Pass level 20, which, as a free-to-play account, means we get an exotic engram. Oh, please be Telesto. That's actually not bad. I grabbed some bounties from Petra, grabbed a regional chest, and presented an offering to a tiny cat. 
<laughs> in this lost sector, I found the Corsair badge. Not sure where I need to take this, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. This was also my first time getting the heroic version of this public event. What the hell? I was summoned back to the blind well, so I obliged. Though I quickly grew weary of this tedious ritual and returned to Petra once more. Now I can finally afford the gateway between worlds bounty, which in plain English just means more blind well. Oh yeah, also these Corsairs talk. I guess it makes sense. After a lot of blind well, I completed my bounty and received an offering to the Oracle. Once a week, you can take this offering to, well, the Oracle, and get a triumph as well as a chest. <laughs> my chest gave me a helmet and another bounty. As I was walking up the stairs, I noticed this text in the bottom left corner. This leads us to our Ascendant Challenge. I went back to Petro to buy a tincture, then returned to the Oracle to start my search for the Ascendant Challenge, which didn't take too long. Yeah, look, there it is. This week's Ascendant Challenge was kinda like a big jumping puzzle, and we all know how I am with the I made it to the top of what seemed like a little boss room, which of course it was. Honestly, I thought this was pretty cool. My chest gave me a waking visual, which I was very happy about, and my bounties are now pretty much done. Though I can't do this one since that would mean leaving the Dreaming City. Petro didn't have anything else for me to do, so I decided to break into the Last Wish raid to get some free loot, something I've never done. Oh my god. To do this, you go to the Ria Silvia and jump on this tree. If you look up, you'll see a hole in the wall that probably isn't supposed to be there. Hey, dude, we're playing Skyrim out here. This is crazy. Oh, I think I remember trying to do this. Uh, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> now we just gotta get over there. Now, this isn't too hard if you have Eager Edge or Stompies, but as someone with neither of those things, this is gonna be difficult. On the bright side, we got plenty of time to figure it out. I put on as much mobility as I could and managed to get just shy of tier 9. First, we tried Spectral Blade Light Attack Spam, which didn't work. I tried it again for good measure, still didn't work. I tried getting some distance with Blade Barrage, but I still didn't have the height that I needed. We tried Morbius Quiver, but had the same issue. I was beginning to think this was impossible with my setup, that is, until a few guardians pointed me in the direction of Sweatsicle. I'm so curious to see how he's gonna do this. Yo, this is pretty huge. Okay. This discovery reaffirmed to me that this jump is indeed possible. Oh, that's definitely possible though. Eventually, a viewer named Static suggested that we use a stasis crystal to make the jump. Now, my hunter doesn't have stasis. However, these wandering souls may be the key to our infiltration. Oh wait, Static, you're onto something. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, Foco, I need you. Can you put on stasis? And if you could put a rock down there. What is he doing? Oh my God, Infinite, you're a legend. Yo, infinite, thank you so much. With a helping hand, we traversed the chasm and continued on our path. Luckily, that was the hardest no. part. Unfortunately, I made a mistake at this load zone, which killed my guardian and did actually place me in the raid, just not the right part. Are we in the raid? Uh oh, I think I just fucked it up, but we are. We redid this stasis jump, I made it back to the load zone, and made the same oh mistake. God. What was happening here is I didn't cap my frame rate, which, for whatever reason, causes this to not work. This may actually be similar to Pokemon Emerald's frame skips. Regardless, I capped my frames, and it worked just fine. Oh my god. This whole path gave me huge Borderlands 2 vibes for some reason. Eventually, the area started looking familiar, and just like that, we've reached the bridge jumping section. Raid. No way. Oh I headed over to the chest and got a Techian Force which isn't that bad. I explored a little longer, making it over to Shirochi, and then adjusting my fashion. Unfortunately, this is about all I can do here. Everyone say bye to Last Wish. I didn't even know that was my emote though. Although for some reason you can pull out your sparrow here, which I don't think you can do in the actual raid. While I was messing around, I stumbled across this rock formation on a cliff. This led me to a cave. Inside the cave, there was an artifact on the ground with a coating on it for a wish. If you didn't know, this is more or less how these wishes were found. I took a little break after this just to ensure that my body didn't shut down, and upon returning I went back to the blind well and discussed the important things in life, like which would you rather have, a Siva-based season or an Ahamkara-based season? I I don't think I'm not like super crazy about Siva, but I like Wrath of the Machine. You got a problem with Siva? Oh, <laughs> you got a problem with Siva? <laughs> Make a song called Siva Gang. It's gonna be a parody no, of Lil Pump's Gucci Gang. Don't. Hey, I'm looking for a Siva type beat. <laughs> My chair is beyond cold right now because it's made of duct tape. It's made of duct tape? <laughs> I left the blind well, killed some Taken, and continued crossing out the lost sectors that I hadn't done. Lost sectors, I think, re Boys, look at all of them. Like it's a Screeve oh. Garden. I decided to go explore some of the more isolated zones as well, which hide some cool stuff. We found X. We have to press X to... 
I traded with the Ahamkara skulls. That is disrespectful. Found some ascendant puzzles and just ended up in some odd places. Okay, I want to go that way. What the fuck? Honestly, the Dreaming City is a really cool place. I was bored, so I did the ascendant challenge again with my HUD off, and then we started looking for all the regional chests. I am still. In <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared me. There's someone in our in our Discord named Gay Bulge. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're gonna make me laugh, dude. <laughs> it's not the funny thing. Yes. <laughs> Boys, we are over halfway there. We have five and a half hours left. Will I match with Macy in that time? Probably not. No, nope, probably not. The last regional chest was somewhere on this cliff. Turns out this one's actually kind of a bitch to get, so I'll come back to it. Some drip. Oh, I can't use that. I still have quite a lot of time left and I'm starting to run out of ideas. I did some more public events and after hours of trying, Macy and I actually managed to get into the same lobby. Oh, there's a <gasps> chef in his Come no, over here, Macy! Look over the bench! God. I did it! Here, now we need to load into the same blind well. I thought what do you mean? Oh, Jesus Fighting? Christ. Is this what Titans look like to anyone who's a warlock or a hunter? <laughs> yes. I've been sitting in the Dreaming City since 5.40. It is 1 o'clock. Oh, what is this? I have no clue. What the hell? Oh, I wasted some beefy ads in the Diwalian Mists and got caught between two titans and their sandwich. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you guys, chill, chill. I then returned once more to try and find this chest. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> it took a while, but eventually I made it to this little ledge where I stayed for about 10 minutes. I finally pulled out my sword though and made some actual progress. Oh? Huh? Okay, okay, wait, wait. That... Oh, I see it! Yo! Oh, please! No! <laughs> I tried so hard. And got so far. <gasps> Oh, we did it, chat! Let's go! Okay, I think that is every secret chest in the Dreaming City. Let's check. I think that chest right there is like the hardest one, I think, out of any of the areas. Let's go to the Lost Sector, and then we're, uh, we've are we done everything there is to do here. The no slow through the Chamber of Starlight. That is my favorite Lost Sector. Favorite that? Lost Sector? I didn't know what people had this? a favorite Lost Sector. <laughs> I went a little too fast, and nothing spawned, so I'll have to come back, but I did find a secret chest. No, like, a noodle so went down the drain! Fuck! <laughs> I love my Calabazan. Dude, that just went through his fucking legs. I still have about four hours to kill here, and I have quite literally done just about everything there is to do. Dude, how much more time do we have? It, okay, it's 1.48. Four hours, dude. Four fucking hours. In those four hours, you should become a TikTok react channel. <laughs> oh shit, are we about to do the Telesto thing? Okay, okay. The only way I'd be allowed to break the streaming city curse early, if I went, bought Telesto, bought the Forsaken pack, and if we did last Telesto. No, last wish, but just Telesto. You can't do Riven Legit with Telesto. Hey. Really? Don't even say that. Don't <laughs> even... <laughs> you can thunder Ribbon's mouth? Yeah, thunder. Oh, I'll do I a mean, little uh... more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Ooh, Ribbon. To keep things at least somewhat interesting, and since we had a group on call already, we decided that if we did Last Wish using only Telesto, that it would break my curse a bit early. Apples was AFK though, so we still had to wait for him, which took about 30 minutes. Come on. Oh shit. <laughs> While we waited, I killed some stuff and finally realized, holy shit. I'm bored. I'm so tired of Blindwell. What? The Fortnite chest. That's what I'm saying. That is exactly what I'm saying. Eventually, Apples returned and we had our team, but first, I needed to get permission from God himself. After all, this was his compromise. He probably won't answer. Levi, Levi. Boys. Yeah. Yo, okay, I'm currently almost nine hours into the Dreaming City 12 hour run. If we do Last Wish, which is still in the Dreaming City with only Telesto, is that okay? Is that acceptable by your terms? I said Dreaming City. If the Last Wish is in the Dreaming City. So so it so I can break my curse early if we do Last Wish with only Telesto. Hmm. Yeah, sure. All right, boys, say bye to the Dreaming City. Well, say bye to Patrol. Get us the 
fuck out of here. Oh, I've never been so happy to see the orbit screen. And let's go buy Telesto. After buying both Forsaken and Telesto, the fire team assembled and we headed on into Last Wish to break my curse. <laughs> oh yeah, well that's why my sword has 69 ammo and yours does not. Well that's why mine has 2,000 kill! Oh my god. You don't go outside, forehead, you lose your shoe on purpose. <laughs> I'm kissing you, get over here. To keep in mind, Telesto was still acting up at the time of recording this. Show her the Telesto, boys. Show her the Telesto. I think if you shoot below her, it's actually better for DPS. Not that we're putting in, like, massive damage, but I have no ammo, so... I'm out of ammo. Nah, don't even worry about it. Oh, there goes Petrus. Memento, you asshole. I hope that crawl pushes you into the blighted side. <laughs> it's damage time, by the way. Oh, Plus. shit. See, yeah, Apples is a real friend. Okay, I'm getting the first one. Fuck doors you, are fuck are you, open, Memento. Send it. Caracol's put down a bubble. You guys got this. Oh, you can do it. Let's go, guys. What the fuck are these fools doing? Get her. Get her. Yeah. Okay, maybe he can maybe direct hit to the move. <laughs> I'm move. killing myself with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe uh, stay back a little bit. <laughs> light her up, light her up, light her up. I'm literally gunpowder gambling. I have gunpowder gambling. It's okay. All right. Uh, oh, I just yeah, fell yeah, off the fucking part. map. That is all you guys. <laughs> yeah. Get her. Nice. Oh, the end. Good shit. Oh, I got her. Dude, now I have to walk all the way fucking back up there, bro. Oh, get him, boys. Get him, boys. Show him Telesto. Oh, we can do this. We can absolutely do this. Don't even worry about it. Oh, we my got God. It. Look at that. We just fucking nuked him. GG. Oh, not. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Someone needs Tree Knight. Someone needs to get Tree Knight right now. Some it is nice, let's it go. Is oh, another oh, yeah. No, I want to try to hit her eyes first, even though I know it's not going to work. And then we'll, we won't we'll be able to. Well, let's get this one shot and we'll cheese it. Because I know this isn't going to work, but I have to see for myself. Oh, I don't have the picture. Oh, yeah. Either. Oh, shit. Um, All right, let's see how well we remember it. I'm, that's me, but her. Oh, my God. Your eyes are R1, R4. R1. R1. I'll try R1. Are we shooting with Telesto? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three, yeah, three, 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 two, one, one. It didn't it work! It doesn't destroy them. It doesn't destroy them. Oh! You need to do multiple shots. Okay, wait, wait. For the eyes, did you say we have to shoot them multiple times? Yes. There, so go up a little bit, and then to the left. Left, 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 like the other side. Uh, the one right there, right there, right there. I'll take R5. Evelyn, you want to take R3? Blasting her mouth. Alright. R5. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't actually think Ribbon is possible using only Telesto, and if it is, there's definitely some RNG involved with the eyes, so for now, we just cheesed her. One. Uh, come on, boys and girl. You guys got this. I believe in you. I almost fucked everything. Uh, oh, wait. No, you Oh, shit. All right, there you go. Caracals, Evelyn, someone. No. <laughs> Oh, he got it. Oh, you are down there. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah. That's got it. You guys got it. Hit it with that Esto. And then there's Evelyn. Oh, that was a lot. Nice. Good shit. Oh, wait. Let me. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me invite Doug. Oh, me, me, me. oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't think Mason's here. It's fine. It's fine. We, we can find him. Get up, Esto. 11, 10. It's me, bitch. Oh, no shake. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Duck, you're duck. Oh, that was, that was risky, but thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, my God. All right. One leap. Go. Bye, 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 bye. I'm about to disrespect this fucking okay, thrall. Thanks, duck. Oh, wait, fucking oh, God. And, and <sighs> my curse. Thank you. Evelyn Let's damage. go, Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. 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 this one. Code it's this one. Oh, I beg to differ. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Some time ago, I set out on a quest to complete the first Witch Queen Legendary Nuzlocke. Through trials and tribulations, we made it to the seventh mission where, unfortunately, my run ended. You're dead. I'm dead? Though we managed to quite literally make a deal with God, who said that If you spend 12 hours straight in the Dreaming City, we'll give you another chance. Of course, we did exactly that, securing ourselves a 1-up and a healthy arsenal. Back to the land of the living, I'm left with one final mission and one last shot at redemption. Here are the rules in case you forgot, and let's get to it. Surely we will beat this? Oh boy. Alright, we learned our lesson. We are gonna be more careful. For real this time, we're actually gonna be more careful. This is a, this is not an easy mission, though. Let me, let me actually do what I said I was gonna do and be a little more careful. Oh, this techie and force might be huge. We actually have a pretty balanced uh, loadout right now. The only thing we can't deal with is that <laughs> wizard. I think it's gonna be fun. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh man, he vaporized that motherfucker. We stayed in the Dreaming City for 12 hours for this, so let's not, uh, let's not fuck it up. First, uh, you know, nope, that's what got me killed last time. Not doing that shit. Oh, hell yeah, this techie. Oh, Yep, 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 yep. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, damn. <laughs> that came out of nowhere, dude. All right. Back up! For the final fight, for sure. Okay. Nah. For the final fight, I will for sure. Another one? Probably. 
I can make this. I can make this. Let's go. Oh, come on, motherfucker. You ain't do shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let me... I don't know if that does damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ikora. Get in here. Light him up. Literally, where's the battle line? I don't know. That's the first uh, region done. Move through the Court of Thorns. I don't like this part. It reminds me of the worm mission. Actually, just gonna... Oh, fuck. Yeah, we'll, we'll save um, Telesto for Savvy. Not that it's gonna work. We'll, we'll save it for sure. Okay, these ogres, we kind of just gotta keep under the influence, you know? <laughs> Not gonna make the mistake Why of going up there. Are you running? Dude, I'm scared of that final Savathun fight. It's gonna be rough. Oh, y'all drop fire. Do us too much right now. Okay. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. The scatter nade. Yep, 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 yep. You still on fire? Yep. There you go. When their eyes start to glow, is that how you know they have a super? I had no idea. I think that is what, what that is. Okay, after he gets knocked out of this, he's gonna go back to being blue-eyed, right? You done? Yeah. So look at that, he has blue eyes. Not that I should be risking this, but... Okay, so it's orange now, and I bet he can super. I mean, we're not gonna give him the chance to. That is very interesting. Oh, he, they should just have like a disabled Crucible playlist whenever some shit gets disabled. Maybe someday. We still have to do something with Rat King, right? I wish you could see the look on my face. Hey, point taken. Watch your step. Between these two deaths, I'm really not sure which one was dumber. Regardless, I got some new weapons and made sure to take some basic precautions this time. Very carefully. Okay. We got two scout rifles. And I like both of them. Can she hit me from here? An aid? Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a tether type of moment. I don't wanna... Two vex and the person. Oh, I really like this scout rifle. We're finishable. There you go. That was risky. We did it. Oh, that's our that's our portal. Get out of here. Uh, we gotta be. You know, I think we should ask ourselves by the end of this: Is have I improved as a hunter? I don't know. <laughs> you want to see a season about Zerv the Nine? Hey, I I would love to know more about the Nine. I know I'm the first person to say that, but <laughs> this should stun her. Paris, person, Vex. All right, let me get out of here. That was risky as shit. If, one, if any of you remembers what the code is, could you uh, drop it in chat? Because I don't fucking remember. This is a fight I can win. Yeah, it's this one, right? We got a lot of this one. Hey, let's go. There we go. Okay, now we got Cursed Thralls coming out. I don't like them. All right, come here. I can take that. I can't take that. I, I took it. I took it. We're good. Oh, it's a... I'm a All right. Got through that with, what, one death and it was completely my fault? The, the court part... Oh. What a surprise. Alright boys, I think it's just this and then the Sabathun uh, fight. Can this knight give me a fucking break? Oh, let's go. Good nade right there. Let me not die. This isn't a respawn restricted zone, so not the end of the world, but I actually really like both of these scout rifles, so we're gonna lose them and we gotta come to terms with that, but I don't wanna lose them right now. Alright, there we go. Oh. There we go. We still haven't gotten a legendary. Not a legendary weapon, at least. Not gonna lie to you, I'm, I'm pretty scared about this. I think. What the fuck? Okay, if I die here, this does not... Okay. <laughs> oh boy, the sanctum of the brood queen. Oh shit. It all comes down to this. We're just gonna go in with this same loadout, I think. Let's do it. Oh, we gotta take this in. This it? Sure looks like it, but I'm not sure where. There you are. Ah, shit. Oh, body and mine. Ah, shit. Well, that's all you, buddy. What? Toe soon. Get her out of there. Push you, right? Alright, alright. Oh, you're just gonna keep doing that, aren't you? Forgive me, forgive me! Shit! Get 
There she goes, there she goes. Oh man. Is this gonna work? I don't know. I need to get them all kind of close to each other. Uh, so not what they're doing right now. All right, let's fucking go. There. <laughs> I'm gonna die, for sure. Nope. That didn't fucking- Oh, damn it! Let's drop you. There we go. Two down. As you have made me acutely aware in the past. You, and you are small enough to fit in here. Shit. Oh, yes. Okay. Here the high card. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. There we go. Oh, shit. Come on, boys. We gotta crush the ghost. Boys, ready for round two? Give me a legendary. Please. Ooh, boys. Boys, we got a Taipan. I told you I was going to use a Taipan at Sabathun. I wasn't fucking lying. Round two. Fight. Oh, fuck. I don't think I can do this. Oh, my God. That was good. Shit. There we go. There's one. Oh my goodness, God, that hurt. <laughs> there we go. This isn't a... Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Go get glass. Let's go. Really quick, really quick. Really quick. Oh. Do some. One down. We can do it. I know. Show her the memory. Let's stick with this. We'll, we'll give it a shot. We're we'll running arc after all. Let me try something. Properly. All right, Sabu. Oh, that was bad. Time. All right. Do I use Telesto? Let's use Telesto, boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Six feet. That was risky. The King Cobra, boy. Holy shit! What the? Go, oh, boys. All right. Not that I immediately hit her with. There we go. Huge fucking damage, boys. Huge fucking damage. That's fine. Fuck! 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 fuck. Ooh, man, you look good. Got you loud and clear? Come on, let's get the King Cobra. Look at that, holy. Holy fucking shit. Dude, we almost lost Telesto. Good spot. There we go, there we go. Direct cutter times three. Uh, okay. Care about. Come on, come on. Come at me. Massive. We can get him two more shots. We can get him three more shots. Holy, holy shit, boys. That was fucking heat. Oh, that's. Alright. Oh. Oh, come on, let's do it, chat. Tension to her, we got tension to her. We can do it with the King Cobra! We can so do it with the King Cobra! Come on! Telesto! Telesto! Let's fucking go! Come on! Let's fucking go, boys! Oh my god! For Brutica! For Thunderlord! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god! Let them rest! Oh, we did it, chat! Holy shit! Isn't oh. this interesting? I miscalculated. The game is yours to play now. Oh no, is she teasing a Lightfall Nuzlocke? Is that what she's doing right now? Just don't say I didn't warn you. Imaru, what do you have to say about this? Oh! This motherfucker done messed oh. up my shit. Man's holding the Azimuth DSU. <laughs> you better stay down. I'll use it. I'll use it. I was I was scared, I'm not gonna lie. And King Cobra. We didn't even have to bust out the Taipan. Oh, and we get to choose. Returns. What does Blight Ranger even do? To actually redirect with your arc staff, you'll massively increase damage. That almost feels right. Go Blight Ranger. Fuck it. 
And with that, The Witch Queen Nuzlocke comes to an end. I had so much fun with this series, it's been in my head for a while now, so to finally get it all out there is, I don't know, relieving? Rewarding? It makes me happy. A serious amount of work and passion went into this video, so if you enjoyed, a like would be greatly appreciated. I love making these types of videos. For those of you who watched this entire series, seriously, thank you. I hope the ending was worth it. And if a Lightfall Nuzlocke interests you, then leave me a comment, and if you all really liked this series, well, we might just do it again. Anyway, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I post fun Destiny content. I swear it's usually weekly. This one just took a while. Thanks so much for the support, y'all. I hope you're having a great day, night, or whatever it is. And until next time, Guardians, goodbye.